Oh, the political corks are popping all over the country. <laughs> Do you know, my mother, Oma Osavania, used to make ginger beer back home in Bethlehem when we were small. And she used to put them in bottles and then, of course, cork them and put them in the fridge to get cold. Ginger beer. Of course, eventually, there was a terrible explosion in the fridge as all the corks popped. Pop, 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 and we all thought it was gunshots and we used to hide under the beds. But it was just the hot air escaping there. Which brings me to the DA. Hi, it's very disturbing to see the opposition party disintegrate in front of your eyes because of faction fighting and infighting and egos and all the things that politicians seem to spend their time on. But you know, I must be honest with you, I have always been fascinated by the so-called opposition to government in South Africa. I mean, during the old National Party days, we had, first of all, the United Party, I don't know if you remember them. United Party then became the Progressive Party, then became the Progressive Federal Party, the PFP. Do you remember? Pact for Perth. And then, of course, the Democratic Party. And now, of course, the Democratic Alliance in our democracy. And always been a very good, very, very competent opposition. And I want, want the DA to stay in opposition because at least they can read and write. And they know the rules. Somebody must know the rules. And then there was Helen. Susman, Helen Susman, who spent her life in politics, but for 11 years of that life, she was alone in Parliament, the only member of the white opposition to the apartheid government. Oh, said us malgemaak, she drove us crazy. She never stopped. Every day she said, free Mandela, get rid of apartheid, free Mandela, get rid of apartheid, free Mandela. Oh, what? Eventually, President de Klerk came to me and he said, how can we shut her up? I said, ach, Evia, just do what she says. And so he freed Mandela and got rid of apartheid. So, thank you, Tani Helen. And of course, there's another Helen, not a Susman, more of a Thatcher. And suddenly, Helen Zilla is back in the chair. She's back in the chair, the chairperson of the DA, which means she's the librarian. And meanwhile, all the other boys, head boys and prefects, have decided to leave. And I must just say, in brackets, that here in Latuli House, everybody's very grateful for the DA for diverting the attention from the mess that is going on here in the ANC. I mean, talk about faction fighting. This is real adults in the room, ne? And so I really hope it all works out because Helen is a very clever woman and maybe she realizes that white voters want a place to stay. Foy doch. The white voters are pushed into a corner to make place for black voters. And this is all nonsense. A voter is a voter is a voter. So maybe the DA will now be slacks blancas, ne? Because there are quite a few of the old nationalists still hanging on. And all the members of the DA who are non-whites, ne? Can join the Freedom Front Plus. And within 10 minutes, they'll make that a very big black opposition to black corruption. <laughs> you see, the corks are popping all over the country. Ach, Mesa. It's just a little tip from the old lady in the kitchen. Me. <laughs> Evita, Evita, and you know what we mean. Evita, Evita, always on the scene. Evita, but say the note, Evita should be queen. <laughs>